Hey Synth Dragons, so I wanted to make a quick video. I ended up getting a Novation Launchpad Pro Mark III today. Didn't know they came out. They were announced at uh, NAMM this year and they came out pretty much immediately at retail, so I got one. I got it to replace the SL49 Mark III because I wanted something smaller, but with a step sequencer similar to the circuit, which I still have and still love, but much more complex and this ticks all those boxes. And I wanted to show off one feature and also ask Novation if they could add a feature. So the cool feature that I accidentally found was in the step view with um, the sequencer. If you choose one of the notes, here's the note view down at the bottom, and at the top are your individual steps. So say I choose a note, I've used this note. If I hold down on that note and just like uh, keep holding down, it'll show me all the steps in that sequence in this specific view where I've used that note. That's just an awesome feature. It makes it easier to figure out, hey, where did I use that note too many times? I can mix it up a little bit. And speaking of mixing it up, one of the other cool features is the probability and the mutations, which allow you to add some randomness and some probability, just like a diggy tact or a diggy tone in that respect. So, you know, they're kind of borrowing from that, but hey, that's cool. At least this is a little easier to use. So. The feature I would hope they could add is here, if I go into the d tempo or swing, you can easily change it with this up and down arrow. But what would be really cool is if they allocated possibly this set of like um, pads so you could scroll up and down, for instance, because they're super responsive, so you could do a light touch up and down to basically set the tempo so you don't have to just keep going or holding. So you can easily make it like kinetic scrolling or something where you can like push up really fast and it'll go to a quicker tempo and if you like, you know, go down, potentially make it, you know, easier to dial in a tempo. That would be pretty awesome. I don't know the limitations of the microcontroller so I don't know how easily they could implement something in the kinetic scrolling. But hey, maybe just a strip to go up and down to make the tempo go up and down. That would be awesome. So one of the other things I wanted to discuss is this unit does support full polyphonic aftertouch and just standard channel aftertouch. And it's not really, um, you know, advertised in the manual or, well, it is advertised in the manual, I'm sorry, but not on the website or on the box. So I didn't know that. That's an awesome feature, especially since I have it plugged into the peak up there and the peak can fully register uh, polyphonic aftertouch. So. That's pretty awesome. And the only other feature I wanted to really tout that's really awesome, finally, music uh, companies are doing USB Type-C, and I just want to see that on more things. It's just such a nice standard because you can plug it in either way, and it's just so easy to find cables these days. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.